Good afternoon everyone, this is Mega Man NG and we are back with another round of Kingdom Hearts. In our last episode we tackled Never Never Neverland and sent Captain Hook packing. And we got ourselves a gummy piece. So it's time for Sid to get to work installing it. So we're gonna be heading to Traverse Town to get it installed so we can be ready to travel to the next world. Oh yes, there is something else. We also have to tackle another Coliseum because we just received word of it. And I hear there's going to be a great reward. But first things first, let's head to Traverse Town. Yeah, we'll be visiting Traverse Town a lot in this game. And we already visited a lot just to, like, lock the keyhole, meet new friends, etc, etc. However, here is going to be a bit short because we just need to install the gummy and that's it. Nothing personal. Wait, nothing personal? I mean, nothing serious. Alright, well, let's get to it. Yep, we did. Uh-huh. All right, you want us to wait? Sure, why not? Need at least something to do. Sorry! Now, just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you, so as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. Huh? What's the matter? Um, nothing. Kyrie? Did you call me? Well, that was pretty interesting. For me, at least. And Sid installed the nav gummy, but he's given us a warning because that place is crawling with Heartless. Dude, we don't need warnings. And we obtain a transform gummy piece. Now, I don't know what it's for, but I do believe that it can do... Wait, what is it? Oh, yeah. The transform... If you build, like, more than one gummy, the transformation gummy will allow you to switch between two gummies. So, basically, you have, like, two ships in one, which is a pretty interesting feature to have. 
so it's not like I'm gonna need it anyway. Anyway, when our work here is done, we leave. When our work here done, we leave Travers Town and look forward to the next world. Yeah, we're gonna head to the next world, all right. But there are things that we need to do. For example, we have places to be, and Olympus Coliseum is where it's at. Now, earlier off screen, there was an announcement stating that there's a new Coliseum going on. And there's a great reward for someone who wins it. Well, why not? May as well get myself some targeting practice. Alright, we arrived at Olympus Coliseum. And I believe this will be a very interesting match, to say the least. And if you notice, I'm using Glide a lot more. Don't know why, I just like it. Okay, Phil. We just want to get in so we can kick Glide, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know the rules. We're going together. This is the third of six cups. The other cups are unlocked after the next world. Can't say it though, but if you guys already know, you already know. Now our first battle is against three shadows and five gargoyles. What better way to freeze than to freeze by giving them some major deep freeze. Now these gargoyles, or I refer to them as Wendigos in my Halloween Town part of the playthrough, they're like bad and heartless, but they can be very deadly with their variety of different attacks. What you need to watch out for is the different abilities they can use. For example, their teleport attacks. They can go behind you and counter attack with dish and heavy damage. Also, they have an orb based attack that will just spit out an orb and hold it on the opponent. Very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing, so be careful. Yahoo! next fight is White Knights, Air Pirates, and Barrel Spiders. Wait, one Air Pirate? Nah, I don't want to deal with that. Ah! Can't believe I had to deal with that. Oh, now it looks like we got a problem on our hands. Yeah, those White Knights are very bad news. Not only are they deadly because they have like long reach, they can deal considerable damage if you're not careful. So the most important strategy is to guard and then counter. You're going to need a lot of countering to take them down. Yeah. That's it? Wow. Now we have battleships, a battleship and four pirates. Uh oh, we gotta watch out for the battleship. No, no, no. Yes. Damn it! Homing missiles! Homing missiles equals bad. Use a Revere on it and you'll be able to like shut it down in one attack. Also you can guard. If you guard, you'll be able to like avoid it attack, but you'll be at like a stun like a stun state or something. There you go. That takes care of them. Now to give them a deep. Stop interrupting my deep freeze! That's better. Okay, so after my um, recording I did on Kingdom Hearts 3D, which ended really badly, yeah, because the quality wasn't good, I may decide on getting my hands on a webcam, an HD webcam, so I can record it. Nothing to it. Next up, we have four gargoyles and three white knights. This could be bad. Oh, not wrong direction. Burn. And freeze. Anyway, as I was saying, my recent test on the Kingdom Hearts 3D, I did a test for the demo, and it didn't go out very well. It didn't, it ended up really bad. So therefore, I decided that I may have to get a webcam. Well, fortunately, a YouTube user, Anani Gaming, is a is a girl gamer, and girl gamers really do rule. She is actually she actually had a like a diff a plan to like record the thing. I'll explain it in the next time. Now we have a rare truffle. And boy, rare truffles are a real pain in the butt. As I was saying before I was interrupted, and never mind, I don't think I'll be needing to worry about the air. Let's just skip it. <laughs> 
Cloud, he's back. Looks like we have a rematch this time. Fortunately, we don't have to worry. Yep. Okay, so the whole point of this fight here is basically you just counter. Yeah, you gotta watch out what he does. His son is really bad. Oh, no. He's gotten better since our last fight, so he's got some new tricks. Uh oh. Yep, dodge the attacks and then counter. You gotta watch out. His Sonic Blade is dead. Of course, you could always dodge on a Vedas attack. Yep. You gotta make sure you counter and guard at the earliest opportunity. You're gonna need it. And like that. Simple, right? But he has some really sweet tricks this time around. Ah! What's he doing? Yeah. Now that everyone has glide, glide's more dangerous. Well, he's taking care of that. I take him down. Gotta watch out though. Cloud is deadly. I already said that, but still. Cloud is a deadly opponent since he has like a variety of different attacks. For example, his cross slash is a three hit strike. And his sonic blade. And I think it reminds me of Braver. Yeah. Uh oh. Yep, this fight could be long if you don't know what you're doing. Farewell. Oh no. Now he decides to bring out the big guns. He has a wing, and when he has a wing, he gets up for his version of the Omni Slash. The only strategy I have for this is dodge roll to no end. Eventually, after a while, he'll stop doing it, and he'll refer to his own strategy. Basically, the strategy you have here is to basically guard and counter. Yeah. Yeah, but his attacks are deadly if you don't know what you're doing. Fortunately, if you pack plenty of MP, he'll be fine. Not to mention, if you time your evasiveness right, you'll be able to deal damage. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Nice. Yep. He can be taken down with little effort. But you gotta be careful. Because you can get hurt if you don't know. Oh no. Now he's going at it again. Remember, same tactic as before. And the worst thing about it is that during this move, he can fly. Makes the fight a bit harder. So just keep evading and then counter. Well, at least with MP Rage, you can get some MP to Yeah. Thank you. Ah. Nice. That takes care of him. He's not so hard, but at least you get a nice sweet reward for beating him. Now we deal with a squad of enemies, a white knight, a gargoyle, two pirates, and an air pirate. Looks like we're about to have ourselves an obstacle force for some battle. So as I was saying when I was talking about earlier, Aya and Gaming showed me an interesting way on how to record 3DS games. I may consider this idea, because if it works, I may do 3DS games. I have a lot of 3DS games I could do, such as Kid Icarus Uprising, Tyler Wings Resort, heck, Mario Kart 7. I've seen Sully Pones do it, so why not me? I may as well take a crack at it, because it's fun and I like doing video games. Our last opponent are two battleships, two pirates, and an air pirate. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. No, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Force. Yeah, Gravira is your friend here in this battle. Because you'll need Gravira to shut those battleships down. If you shut them down, they won't be able to use their other attacks. Or better yet, keep a flow. Because when you break apart the battleship, you get added experience. So, you better watch out for when they do like a variety of different attacks, such as their homing missiles. Their homing missiles are really deadly. And of course, they get harder as the game progresses. 
don't worry. It's not that bad, really. It's just that you need to be careful when you time it. And shut down. Yeah, I always like gravity-based moves like Rivera. Basically, you can do considerable damage to them and shut them down in the process. Like so. All that remains is that pirate, and we're done. That was a pretty short fight. Huh? Hercules wants to fight us? Okay, you want a one-on-one -on -one fight? Fine. Hey, it's not my fault. Give Sora his chance. He has something to prove anyway. Oh, don't worry, Hercules. I won't go easy on you either. So it comes to this. Hercules himself. Now... Where to begin talking about a strategy for this guy? Okay, here's what I'll sum it up in a nutshell. You need to strike him with a barrel to keep him out of his invincibility state. You gotta make sure you keep your distance. Oh, nuts. He has a shockwave attack, too. You better watch out. Of course, you can guard it and reflect it. Well, he gets a bit dizzy, so you better watch out. You gotta grab a barrel, and when he does his taunting, then hit him to get him out of his invincibility state. Then at the, while you're out of his ability state, you can attack him to deal with damage. Better watch out when he attacks or you're in trouble. Yeah, the best strategy here is to just dodge all and evade his sword spin attack. He'll spin for a while and then after that he'll return to his normal phase. Now after enough hits, you get dizzy, which means you can use this opportunity to counterattack. Remember what I told you, when he does his sword spin attack, dodge roll. Now, now he's gonna get things ready, and he does a jab punch attack. Now remember, some of his attacks he'll be, invinci he'll be invincible, which means you can't harm him. Nice, guarded. You can, ah, that didn't work. Alright. Oh crap, gotta get out of his way when he does that. He'll revert to his god status, and that means you won't have to hit. You won't hit him. Hey, eat this. Ah. Yeah. Okay then, take this. Gotta watch out. Limpet, Hercules can be really deadly. Uh oh. That means you gotta keep moving. Even when he's in his invincible state, he'll continue doing different attacks at you. You gotta watch out though. On. I ain't done yet. Eat this. Come on. Let's do this. Come on, my friend. Yeah, if you'll revert to the same phase again. Ow. That's not fair. Alright. I'm not done yet. And as far as this goes, eat barrel. Thank you. Now he'll be at a sun state, which you can use to attack. Oh, nuts. Now he's gonna do like a raging bull. Yep. If you guard his raging bull, he'll go into a sun state. You can use that to your advantage. Not as much as this. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Yeah, that's right. If I had more MP, I could just use Arse Arcanum. But for the time being, I gotta heal up to prepare. Now, where are the barrels? Here we go. There they are. Remember the strategy. To get him out of his invincibility state, use a barrel to stun him. And he'll go back into his attack again. Nice. Very nice. Oh, boy. And this fight is over. Oh no, he goes in with invincible state again. Unfortunately, I have no time because this game is near its end. Bye, freaking. Ah, what? Bye bye. No. Well, at least he gets an MP this way. And we're done with this. Thank God. Nothing to it. We're the champs! Wow!
and I, I didn't even hold back! Now I finally know what you mean about strength of heart. Mine comes from Donald and Goofy. Come again? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. With these guys beside me, I'm ready for anything. But that's not exactly of what- Of course. Your friends give you strength. Isn't that right, Phil? The three of you together make great heroes. And as a team, I'm sure you can overcome anything. And we got our hands on Olympia, which in my opinion, one of the best keyblades in the game. And we learned Yellow Trinity, which is Trinity Push. So before we continue, let's give him a much needed improvement. Yup. Now that's one keyblade I'm going to be using a lot. Believe me. Now then, let's... Let's add a little jackpot to the mix. And get our dunks done. But we have one last thing to do. be it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you want to see more of my videos, swing on over to my channel. Leave a like if you like. Leave a comment if you must. And as always, thanks again. But hey, you can always subscribe. This is Mega Man NG, and I'm signing off for today. We'll be back next time when we tackle the new world. Peace out, guys, and thanks.